This is a very brief demo of a standalone application and a GIMP plugin that will handle CMYK images. You can get it from here, which will take you to SourceForge and a choice of downloads. There's one there for Windows or Linux. So download whatever you want and in Windows I go to maybe our downloads folder there it is if I click on that it should open and all you need is this single Cyan executable file where to put it well I suggest putting it in your users folder and you need to run it once for it to install a plugin into GIMP and next to just do a few initial settings so you need to set that that grey one's easy there's only one monitor none in this case and the intent Perceptual is the usual one to go for. And if you don't want that information pane, you can close that. Now you can close this down now. You could use it like that, perfectly usable. But in GIMP, since we're looking at GIMP 2.10 here, yeah? this is 2.10.8, the latest one. We now have a little menu there, Cyan, but it's greyed out. So if I need to open an image, I need to, first of all, make a blank canvas. I get this. I can now go to open an image. I've got one on the desktop here. This is a CMYK JPEG. You can tell the inputs ISO. The output's none, so I need to change this to RGB. I can change the bit depth as well. I'll just have 8 bits. Wait for everything to come active again. There it is, it's active. Now I can click on the Save It, this one, and it opens up in GIMP as an RGB image. Now I'm taking a, an RGB image and going the other way around. I can export that. Looks like that. It says it's sRGB. I need to choose a profile. And then I save it. I'll put it on the desktop again. And I've got a choice of TIFF, PSD, or JPEG. So I'll give it a name. I'll call it... Give it a .psd. Change. You can save that. And there it appears on the desktop. I can close this down. I'll close GIMP down as well. And if I open that Lina CMYK PSD open, you can see this in Critter, you can see that it is actually a CMYK image. So that's proof.